He stopped me Trinidad. <laughs> that guy well, is so blight. We have a serious storm warning, um, tropical storm warning of Thomas. Well, it's just been yeah. upgraded. Um, the tropical wave has just been upgraded to tropical storm Thomas. Huh? And we're trying to get Mr. D.K. Noel online from ODPM. The official from ODPM. To give Mr. us some sort of guidance. Go ahead, good Mr. afternoon, Mr. Noel. Yes, good evening. Um, Lalan, Ian Allen here online. Um, yes, we just wanted to get some indication from you what is the status of the tropical storm Thomas at this time. Okay, tropical storm Thomas, it formed at 3 p.m. this afternoon. Before, as you know, it was a tropical wave, not a tropical storm. And the center was located at 10.9 degrees north latitude with 56.8 degrees west, which is about 350 kilometers east of Tobago. And as, as you may know, a tropical storm warning means that Trinidad and Tobago, we could expect tropical storm conditions within the next 36 hours. Uh, it's moving in a west-northwest direction at this time. Therefore, Tobago, and in particular northern Trinidad, will be most exposed, most vulnerable to this tropical storm conditions from around midnight tonight. So, Mr. Noel, we could expect from midnight to uh, see heavy showers uh, coming to the country. Trinidad heavy and showers, com a couple with gusty winds, and, uh, well, the usual street of flash flooding that would occur in areas that are typically prone. What are some hmm. precautions you can give viewers uh, to prepare for this um, tropical storm okay what we what is which is something that we really like to say first and foremost that people should continue to listen to all media all forms of media that's the traditional and social uh, facebook twitter the blogs etc our website remain calm alert and vigilant we really advise people that spreading our uh, the unnecessary rumors, uh, that, that's not really the most prudent option right now because from since this morning we were hearing, or since yesterday actually we heard it was a tropical storm, which wasn't the case, and that added to the hysteria, which we understand, but it really doesn't add too much to the, to the, to the system right now. And really in terms of checking your home, your individual home, we remind people to do things like clean your gutter, your gutter rings, your down sprouts, your drains around your home. Remove items and like mis like galvanized iron sheets, pieces of wood. These miscellaneous items we tend to have around our homes that could really become missiles during heavy winds. And we're talking about winds that are 50 kilometers plus. Right? Mr. Noel, is uh, ODPM working with the protective services and the hospitals and other agencies? Yes, if all, in case all of disaster? First, from yesterday when we first got word of the tropical wave, all first responder agencies were put on alert, and that includes the fire service, the police service, the defense force, CPAP, corporations, Ministry of Health, etc., and all regional agencies such as Red Cross, Sedema, Caribbean Disaster Emergency Management Agency, they've all been on standby to assist with coordinating relief efforts should the need arise. Mr. Noel, um, Ian Allen here. Mm -hmm. What's happening? Is it, do you recommend that employees, um, send, um, sorry, employers uh, send home their employees, like some of these business places that are opening tonight, like fast food restaurants and whatnot, do you think that it is critical that they send home their employees? Well, uh, that's a question that we were asked all day, but and it's something that we, at the ODPM, we don't have the authority to do. However, we advised employers to want for themselves in the employee situation understand the panic that and the concern that, that they're going through and also to if the person is not very really very essential and critical to the functioning of the of the business they really should be allowed to go home that's our position on it but however as you know we don't have any so mandate over like private sector and, and in terms of public sector it was only the prime minister that could give authority for schools, except government offices, to be closed. So, so we give the Prime Minister the guidance and the advice, and along with the Met, and she would make her decision in that regard. Right, um, well, I'm aware that you all will be meeting with the Prime Minister at 8 30 p.m. at the Diplomatic Center. Am I right? Yes, our CEO and operations team would be there, yes. Okay, um, so we should expe ex expect some heavy showers as of 12, Mr. Lala. Yes. M Mr. Noel, how long do you think, is it possible to forecast how long this effect could last if it starts at 12? Well, the thing is the Met Office has indicated that, that, well, the Met Office didn't really indicate that. What they did indicate really is that these things could be off and on for the next 36 hours. When I say off and on, it could be you could start with heavy showers, it would it would die down, then it would have heavy showers come, accompanied by the gusty winds. It's really 
a tropical storm is really an odd thing to analyze because it could really intensify and it could just die down and, and go its way. So we really just remind people also to just really be monitor it and really don't come outside unless it's absolutely necessary. If there's flooding inundation, don't uh, come walking and, and swimming and all these things you're seeing in floodwaters. I mean, that that's really not a, a healthy choice and not a wise choice at all. Mr. Noel, do you recommend that the areas that are prone to flooding in the past, that in the, um, residents who live in some of these areas, that shot, that just you know put things in place, get some canned foods and put away water and whatnot? Oh, definitely, Ian. I mean, that's what we've been preaching uh, uh -huh. practically all year, but more so since the start of the hurricane season, that it should not have reached this point where people are now rushing to supermarkets. I know it seems to be part of our culture, but it shouldn't be. And this is something we really have tried to curb, um, really do the needful, put valuables on higher levels if necessary, yes, put all your important documents in sealed containers, sealed Ziploc bags. These are, these are the things we really have been preaching. We know how hard those documents are to, to replace. Do you have any hotline numbers that you could give out in case people are in a state of emergency that they need to contact? Uh, okay. Any of the Our, well, initially, the in terms of uh, in terms of adhering to process, the the process is really your municipal corporation first. However, if that fails, it's eight hundred six three seven six, which is our own hotline. Eight hundred six three seven six. Yes. Eight hundred. Remember, that's the ODPM hotline. Eight hundred six three seven six. Okay. Mr. Noel, again, it was, I mean, thanks for informing us and, and in informing the wider public by, you know, letting us know what we can expect tonight at 12 o'clock. Yes, know, uh, could I just close with them? I know uh, there was a lot of concern. I'm monitoring our social network here and on our websites and stuff, and there's a lot of concern that people were saying there they were inconvenience in traffic and all that. But I think this was actually the more pro proactive approach because if, if we stood by and said nothing and it happened then we probably would have been blamed for that too so this really was a proactive, the more proactive approach to inform people from the get-go which was from yesterday when we started issuing bulletins about a tropical wave that that is approaching and well now you see it developed into a tropical storm so we really would like to this was the method that we found most 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 prudent and most proactive to, to inform our citizens so that they'll be away Mr. Noel, again, um, the Trinidad and Tobago Crime Watch, um, Mr. Lala and myself will be liaising with you, you know, during the course of the night, maybe furnishing you with information, and, you know, in the event things should happen, we'll be liaising closely with the ODPM. Sure. Um, you have my cell number, yes, and you could contact me um, sure. at it. I would be uh, here for most of the night, and I have a replacement who will be coming in to replace me at, at some point also. No problem, sir. Good night again. Thank okay. you very much. Bye. Good night. Well, we heard it from the... Um, and Crime Watch next week will be, or as of this weekend, will be prepared and engaged in, a, in relief operations as we've done in the yeah, past. Yes, yeah, I mean, and I'm sure... Once they, 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 there's a problem, we'll be asking for relief, yeah. asking people to bring in food stuff. Remember, what you can do, you can text me on 290-4426, yeah, because we want to be there. You know, we have already to um, inform my camera crew, my security team. We need to be on high alert from as of 7 o'clock tonight. You understand? I don't think I'm going to sleep. I'm going to wait and, you know, make sure that they are, because I, I can recall the Claxton Bay area. I'm very concerned about that area, even the Joyce Road area, the Chandanagar area, the, the, the different parts of north. I mean, I saw flooding. That, I mean, I can't describe it. Well, let's hope this storm just passes by. I'm only praying. I'm, I'm praying because, I mean, at the end of the day, when, I mean, when you see people lose their furniture and their fridge and their stoves and whatnot, it's really, really hard. But I'm really happy to know that the, um, the Honorable Prime Minister, Kamala Prasad B. Sessa, uh, will be hosting a meeting of all emergency heads, including the Police Service, the Defense Force, um, Office of Disaster Preparedness and Management, the CPEP, and other heads of the, at the Diplomatic Center at 8.30 p.m. tonight. Members of the media invited to cover this event. So if you're from a media house and you are listening, I know a lot of you, you know, get your stories from Crime Watch, you can go down to the Diplomatic Center tonight at 8.30 p.m. All right, again, um, please, we're going to lay on the phone. I can't call back everybody, but remember, we are Mr. Lala and I will be liaising closely with the official from ODPM, Mr. Noel. So what you need to do is to text me on 290-4426. Keep that number. That's 290-4-E-N-I-A-N. So we want to know what's happening. And in the event of any distress, call us. We'll be ready. Go ahead, Mr. Lala. No, I think what is important, people have to be very cautious and prepare. There's no substitute for preparation because we saw in the last 
downpour that we had, the flooding and how many people suffered and lost items, this is something likely to be more severe. So I think prevention is better than cure. We should take all measures that are possible, and we'll, we'll, we'll be monitoring. You know, we had given out approximately, I think, almost three or four hundred thousand dollars worth in food stuff, you know that, and mattresses and whatnot. And all those who have given, I mean, we can't say to give us yet, but, you know. Should disaster take should place, disaster we'd take, be prepared. You know, and we please, hope. I mean, text me, let me know what you want to give. You're going to use it. I mean, you have seen us give the past truckloads of food stuff, truckloads and truckloads of food stuff. And I know you. I know there are a lot of people who always support Crime Watch. And, and one thing with Crime Watch, let me tell you something. Wherever, whenever you give stuff to Crime Watch and you give food stuff and mattresses, you see where it goes. Exactly. You understand? You exactly. see the people. I mean, we, do, you know, we have hours of videos just in hand to show you where we went, where we give all the mattresses, where we give all this, where we give all that. You know, but I'm really praying. I mean, they, you know, some might say God is a Trinidadian. Yeah. You know, Mr. Lala? Of course. I often say that. I don't want to take over the program. Go ahead. No, no, no. I, mean, I don't want to take over the program. <laughs> I, I, find, I, I, I realize you get kind of sad, like, you know, I, no, start, I, I mean, somebody, I don't know if anybody lobby for you. There are people who lobby for Mr. Lala to give him a chance to speak. And, uh, <laughs> there are people who do that every, <laughs> every day. Right, We're right, not going to call him. I'm not going to call him, but it's somebody who will lobby for Mr. Lala that he gets air time. Mr. Lala, you no, go ahead. You go ahead. make sure that you're, you're safe, you know. Yeah, That's you my goal, you know. You know, but, we, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, you all be careful on our nation. Joel. We know that there are a lot of companies, there are a lot of restaurants and whatnot who have to open at the end of the day in order to make a dollar. Things are kind of, you know, things are a bit hard in this country. And, um, but I'm sure that there are good employers out there who will see it necessary when, you know, the, the storm really hits. I mean, don't put money in front of it. Don't put money in front of the safety of your employees, all right? So we're going to take a break. Let's, let's get this show started.